These may be the first Americans, as a matter of fact. Scientists have uncovered a new perspective on the state of Texas. Known for its vast deserts, oil fields, and cowboy culture, this Lone Star State may not be what we've been led to believe. Underneath this iconic state's surface are untold stories and discoveries that challenge the conventional narrative. So, what secrets does Texas hold that scientists are now exposing? And how will this revelation reshape our perceptions? Join us as we delve into the scientific revelations that suggest Texas has more to reveal than meets the eye. In present-day Texas, there are signs of the earliest people in America. These first Texans left behind a legacy made of stone, specifically Clovis points and pre-Clovis artifacts. These objects challenge what we know about the history of humans in North America. The story begins with Clovis points, spearheads with a distinct shape closely associated with the Clovis culture. This culture is named after Clovis, New Mexico, where these artifacts were first found in the 1930s. However, Texas also has its share of these archaeological treasures, with many Clovis points discovered throughout the state. This suggests that these ancient people were present in Texas around 13,500 years ago. Clovis points are more than stone tools. They are impressive examples of prehistoric engineering. They have a fluted base that allows them to be securely attached to spear shafts. This innovation advanced hunting technology and gave us insights into the creativity and adaptability of early human settlers in Texas. Although Clovis's points have long been the focus of discussions about early American inhabitants, recent discoveries in Texas are pushing back the timeline even further. Sites like the Galt site in central Texas have provided evidence of human occupation dating back over 13,000 years. These findings include a variety of artifacts that predate the Clovis culture. This has sparked a scientific debate about when the first Americans arrived suggesting that Texas was a hub of human activity long before previously believed. The story of Texas is filled with tales of people surviving, coming together and blending different cultures. Two such stories come from Fort St. Louis and the Mortuary Cave. These places give us a glimpse into the early days of Texas, seen through the eyes of European settlers and native burial practices. In 1685, the French explorer Lal established Fort St. Louis as a bold move to claim land in a region dominated by the Spanish near present-day Victoria, Texas. Lal envisioned a grand French empire in the New World, but the fort faced challenges like isolation, conflicts with native tribes and diseases, leading to its eventual failure. The discovery of Fort St. Louis's site in the 1990s revealed artifacts such as musket balls, pottery and trade goods, telling a story of struggle, interaction with indigenous people and the daily life of the colony. This site reminds us of France's brief presence in Texas and its impact on the region's colonial history. On the other hand, the mortuary cave in the Lower Pacas region reveals the sacred and ceremonial aspects of indigenous Texan cultures. Used for thousands of years as a burial site, the cave contains human remains, tools, ornaments, and offerings. This cave provides insights into the spiritual beliefs and practices of the region's ancient inhabitants, showcasing a complex belief system and deep reverence for the deceased. The careful preparation of the dead and the offerings within the cave shed light on the social and spiritual lives of the people who once thrived in what is now Texas. Fort St. Louis and the Mortuary Cave represent the diverse historical landscape of Texas. From European colonizers' ambitions to indigenous people's sacred rituals, these sites tell a multifaceted story of survival, spirituality, and the quest for territory. But wait, there's more. In the dark waters of Matagorda Bay lies a remnant of French colonial ambition, the shipwreck of La Belle in 1686. La Belle was part of an expedition led by explorer Robert de La Salle, which sank during France's unsuccessful attempt to establish a colony in the Gulf of Mexico. This event marked a crucial moment in Texas's colonial history 
as a tangible link to the past. Discovered in 1995, La Belle is more than just a sunken ship. It symbolizes France's desire to expand its territories and counter Spanish influence in the New World. La Salle's mission was to find the mouth of the Mississippi River and establish a foothold for France. However, navigational errors led them to the Texas coast, far from their intended destination. The sinking of La Belle, laden with crucial supplies for the colony, dealt a devastating blow to La Salle's ambitions, ultimately leading to the failure of the French endeavor in Texas. The discovery of La Belle's wreck in 1995 opened a new chapter in understanding French colonial efforts in the Americas. The ship's remains, preserved in the mud of Matagorda Bay, held a treasure trove of artifacts, ranging from cannons and muskets to personal items. These artifacts provide insight into the lives and challenges faced by those aboard. For Texas, the shipwreck is not just a French story, but a chapter in its diverse historical narrative, illustrating the global dimensions of its past. It highlights the challenges of exploration, colonization, and the clash of empires. But that's not all. In the tough land of the Texas Panhandle, there's evidence of ancient enterprise, the Alabates Flint Quarries. For over 13,000 years, these quarries supplied high-quality flint, a crucial material for the people of ancient Texas. The Alabates Flint, known for its durability and usability, played a key role in creating tools and weapons, marking the beginning of a prehistoric industry in Texas. The importance of the Alabates flint quarries goes beyond their long existence. The flint from these quarries wasn't just a resource, it was essential for survival. It allowed the crafting of knives, spear points, and tools vital for hunting, processing games, and woodworking. The superior quality of Alabates' flint with its various colors and excellent edge retention, made it highly sought after, turning the quarries into a bustling trade center among prehistoric cultures. Evidence indicates that the Alabates flint quarries weren't just a local resource. Artifacts made from Alabates flint have been discovered across North America, suggesting a widespread trade network. These trade routes facilitated the exchange of goods and ideas, cultures and technologies connecting distant communities and promoting a shared prehistoric heritage. Today, the Alabates Flint Quarries are a recognized national monument, preserving this ancient site of industry and innovation. Also, the Caddo Mounds, located in the lush landscapes of East Texas, gently rise from the ground. These remnants represent a once thriving civilization constructed by the Catan peoples over millennia ago. These earthworks are not just impressive structures, but sacred symbols of the complex society that built them. The Catans were a sophisticated and organized society known for elaborate ceremonies, advanced agriculture, and extensive trade networks. The mounds served as the focal point of their communities, hosting ceremonies and rituals that strengthened their social and spiritual fabric. Constructing these mounds was a monumental effort involving the movement of thousands of tons of earth without modern tools or technology. Each mound had a specific purpose, such as a temple, burial site, or platform for elite homes. The Great Mound, the largest of these structures, showcases the Catan's architectural prowess and deep connection to the land. The Caddo Mounds were not isolated wonders, but part of a vast network linking them with other indigenous cultures. Artifacts at the sites reflect a rich exchange fabric, highlighting the Catan's role as a cultural and economic hub in prehistoric North America. Archaeological excavations at the Caddo Mounds have unearthed a wealth of artifacts, providing insights into the Ketan people's daily lives, religious beliefs, and social structures. These findings reveal a civilization deeply connected to the natural world, with a cosmology influencing architecture, art, and societal organization. Today, the shadow mounds stand as silent witnesses to a vanished world. Preservation and study efforts aim not just to safeguard ruins, but to honor the legacy of the Catans, ensuring that the stories of this remarkable civilization endure. As we delve deeper into their history, we uncover the enduring spirit of a people 
whose contributions to human culture and knowledge continue to resonate through the ages. In the middle of central Texas, the Galt site provides a fascinating peek into the lives of ancient Texans. This archaeological treasure, dating back over 13,000 years, offers a glimpse into a time long before people wrote things down. It gives us unique insights into the pre-Clovis people who used to live here. The importance of the Galt site became clear when archaeologists found stone tools and artefacts that came before the well-known Clovis points. As they kept digging, archaeologists found a ton of evidence, including over two million artefacts. These artefacts tell the story of humans living here and adapting over thousands of years. The collection includes projectile points, blades and other stone tools. There are also ornamental objects like beads and pendants made from bone, shell and stone. All these things found at the Galt site give us clues about how the ancient people lived daily. The tools show that the community here knew how to adapt to their surroundings. They were good at hunting, gathering and processing food efficiently. The ornamental items suggest a complex social structure with values related to beauty and spiritual beliefs. The site's layout, with different areas for making tools, cooking and living, shows an organised society. This organisation tells us that it wasn't just a temporary group of hunters and gatherers. It was a well-established community. But wait, there's more. San Felipe de Austin is important in Texas history because Texas independence started in 1823. Stephen F. Austin, who is like the dad of Texas, founded it. This place was the main spot for the Anglo-American people to settle in Texas under a deal with the Mexican government. San Felipe de Austin wasn't just a regular settlement. It was like the birthplace of Texan identity. It's where the idea of being independent started. It was right by the Brazos River and became the main part of Austin's colony, the first and most successful group of settlers. People from the United States came here because they were promised land and opportunities. These early Texans, also called Texians, faced many challenges, but built a strong community with complicated social, economic and political lives. San Felipe de Austin wasn't just a place to live. It was also a centre for political stuff and disagreements against Mexican rule. It played a big part in the events that led to the Texas Revolution. There were meetings and conventions where settlers discussed their problems and desire for self-governance. This is where the Texans organised their resistance, which led to the Declaration of Texas Independence in 1836. Today, the site of San Felipe de Austin is like a history museum. It shows how those early settlers lived and fought for their independence. Artifacts, exhibits and even parts of the original town layout tell the story of this important time in Texas history. Palo Duro Canyon, often called the Grand Canyon of Texas, is a beautiful natural site and a treasure trove of history. It reveals human history spanning over 12,000 years and is the second largest canyon in the United States. Despite its stunning beauty, the canyon holds clues about ancient human life. Archaeological digs have uncovered artifacts from different periods, including Clovis points from the earliest North Americans and remnants of Apache and Comanche camps. The canyon was a crucial refuge and resource for hunting and gathering across generations. Its natural resources, such as plants and animals, provided food and materials for making tools, shelters and clothing. The diverse archaeological findings show that the canyon was a cultural meeting point. Nomadic tribes like the Apache and later the Comanche utilised its resources leaving evidence like tip rings and fire pits. The presence of petroglyphs and pictographs in the canyon adds a spiritual dimension, offering insights into the beliefs, traditions and connections to the land of the people who lived there. Today, Palo Duro Canyon State Park preserves this rich heritage, allowing visitors to explore its history through trails and tours. It serves as a living museum, connecting modern Texans and visitors with the deep human history engraved on its walls. Ongoing efforts to study and preserve archaeological sites ensure that the canyon remains a valuable educational journey through time. 
The San Antonio missions are enduring symbols of Spanish colonial ambitions and the mix of cultures that shaped Texas. Established in the 18th century, these missions were religious outposts and centers for community, agriculture and education. They aimed to strengthen the Spanish presence in the New World and convert the indigenous population to Christianity. The most famous mission, the Alamo, is synonymous with Texan independence due to the legendary 1836 battle. However, the story of the Alamo and its sister missions, San Jose, San Juan Espada and Concepcion, began much earlier. These missions formed a chain of spiritual fortresses, bustling communities, where Spanish friars, indigenous converts and settlers lived and worked together. At their peak, the missions were self-sufficient, with vast lands for grazing, farming and cultivating crops like corn, beans and cotton. Indigenous people, taught by the friars, became skilled in European farming techniques and construction, contributing to the impressive stone structures that still stand today. The missions were not just places of worship, but also vital for the survival and success of their inhabitants, blending Spanish and indigenous traditions. Today, the San Antonio missions are recognized as UNESCO World Heritage Sites. They provide insight into the Spanish colonial era, showcasing architectural and agricultural innovations. More importantly, they narrate the stories of those who lived, worked and worshipped within their walls. The Friedrich Archaeological Site and 41 WAG24 are special in the story of Texas's ancient past. They give us a window into the lives of the early people who lived there and show us how diverse and complex things were in prehistoric Texas. These sites have their own unique stories that help us learn a lot about the early humans in that area. The Friedrich site in central Texas is particularly interesting. It tells us about a community that thrived more than 10,000 years ago. We found many old stuff like tools, weapons and leftovers from ancient campfires at this site. All these things clearly show how the people there lived every day. The different kinds of stone tools they used, like projectile points and scrapers, show us they were skilled at making tools. This skill helped them hunt, cook food, and do other important survival tasks. What's interesting about the Friedrich site is that it proves that people only moved around some of the time. They lived in one place for a long time. This is a big deal because it shows a change in how people lived and worked together. It tells us about shifts in social groups, how they managed resources, and how they adapted to the environment. In the southern part of Texas, a rough and natural landscape is shaped by a long passage of time and the Rio Grande River holds an exceptional ancient treasure. It's a vast collection of rock art with pictures painted or chiseled into the limestone cliffs and shelter walls. These ancient murals are not just decorations. They tell deep stories about the people who lived here over 4,000 years ago. The Lower Pecos region's rock art vividly reflects its creator's rich spiritual and daily life. The images portray various subjects, including human figures, animals, intricate abstract designs, and celestial phenomena. Scholars believe these artworks represent shamanistic visions, hunting scenes, and important rituals or ceremonies, providing valuable insights into the beliefs and practices of ancient communities. The creators of the rock art used different methods like painting with mineral pigments and etching directly into the rock surface. The sophistication of these techniques emphasizes the significance of these artworks, serving as a way for the ancient people to express themselves, communicate, and connect with the spiritual world. Today, the rock art in the Lower Pecos is acknowledged as a cultural treasure of immense importance. Ongoing efforts to document, study and preserve these artworks are crucial because exposure to the elements and human activities threatens their survival. Each piece of rock art serves as a delicate link to the past, offering a glimpse into the thoughts and emotions of the ancient peoples of Texas. But that's not all. You see, the USS Westfield and the Bison Drive site represent important parts of Texas's history, focusing on conflict and survival. Even though these places are separated by many years, they both give us a peek into the difficulties faced by people who lived and fought in Texas. 
Let's talk about the USS Westfield first. This Union gunboat played a crucial role in blocking the Confederate coast during the American Civil War in 1863. While it was operating in Galveston Bay, the Westfield ran aground and was intentionally destroyed to avoid being captured by Confederate forces. When the wreckage of the Westfield was excavated later on, it revealed not only artifacts from naval warfare, but also personal items of the crew and the weapons they used. On the other hand, the Bison Drive site near Lek demonstrates the cleverness of prehistoric Texans in their struggle for survival. This ancient hunting ground shows how Native Americans hunted bison by strategically guiding them into cul-de-sacs or off cliffs. By doing this, hunters could efficiently gather the resources needed for their communities. The site provides insights into early Texans social organization, environmental knowledge and survival strategies. Whether through strategic naval engagements during the Civil War or communal hunts in ancient times, these sites showcase the adaptability, resilience and ingenuity of the people who called Texas home. By preserving and studying these historical landscapes, we pay tribute to the struggles and triumphs of those who came before us, ensuring that the lessons from the past continue to inspire future generations. Thank you for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, click the video on your screen to see more mind-blowing videos like this one.